Now let's say you want to let the user maybe customize the lens a little bit. Maybe you weren't sure about the grain overlay or you weren't sure about which color correction to use. The nice thing is we can let the user tap to change certain aspects of the lens. So let's head back to the studio and see how we can do that. All right, so let's say you weren't entirely sure about including the color correction. You like the grain, you like the text, um, but the LUT, maybe it's too purpley. You can leave that up to the user to decide by letting them tap to change that. Now we do need to use some custom scripting to let the user tap to change things, but don't worry, you don't need to write any code. It's already been written. We just need to choose the inputs for it. So in the objects panel, I'm going to add a helper script and I'm going to choose behavior. Now with the behavior script selected, there are a lot of different triggers and event types. We just want to keep it as touch event and tap. What we do want to change is the response type. So come down here and go to set enabled. So inside Lens Studio, I can click this little box to enable and disable my color correction, but the person using your lens can't. And this behavior script will let them actually do that. So for your target, you want to choose that color correction. So I'll open up the camera and the effects and choose it. Um, you can also type to search by name. And now on the action, we don't want to enable it every time someone taps, we want to toggle. So if it's on, we'll turn it off. If it's off, we'll turn it, we'll turn it on. So now if we click here in the preview panel, we're turning our color correction on and off. All right, so that's pretty cool. But what if we want to maybe let them switch between two different color effects? Now, so let's add a black and white color correction really quick. And let's come to our behavior script. And we also want them to toggle it, but we want it to be the opposite of when our other one is on. So we can add a component and select script, add script, choose behavior. Or a shortcut, you can actually click this little gear, select copy, and then paste will be enabled and you can paste it in. All right, so we'll just go ahead and do it the long way. We'll do set enabled. We want to select the black and white color correction and we want to toggle that one. Uh, so if I start tapping, we might, not, we might not see too much working. Sometimes with scripts, you have to just click this reset button to start fresh. Uh, so we can see something's happening, but I don't see my original LUT. I just see the black and white one turning on and off. That's because we just need to make sure it starts out disabled. We want one enabled, one disabled. Now, if we reset our lens, we can switch between the two color corrections. All right, so that's pretty cool. But what if we have like three, four, maybe five color corrections that we want to let someone cycle through? That also requires a custom script, but I've actually already created it and I'll let you go ahead and just use it. If you're interested in learning more about how to make it, I have a separate tutorial on that. But for now, uh, you can just import it and use it as it is. All right, so the link is in the description. And it says tap to change.ls script. I'll just drag that into my resources panel. And now I'm going to go ahead and just create a scene object. It's just an empty object. I'm going to add a component and script. And I'll choose that tap to change. And you might see some errors popping up here. That's just because we haven't chosen any objects here. Uh, so really quickly, let's add another color correction. So we have multiple to go through. Let's grab this invert so we can really tell the difference between all of them. So I'll reselect um, my script here. And I'm going to add some values. I want to add each of my post effects. So if I'm adding a value, I can actually select multiple here. And it'll let me put in multiple. That's just if you have this sort of like um, list type thing where you can add a value to the list. All right, so we have our custom post effect, black and white and inverted. If I tap through, um, it doesn't quite go in sequence. You just saw we had two black and white ones in a row. And that is because we have this behavior script still on. So we need to make sure we turn that off because this is still toggling between um, the empty and black and white ones. Let's just turn that off. And now if we reset, we should be able to cycle through each of our post effects.